Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For this month, I'm offering a special that it's divided into two parts, even though you can order it as well uh, separately. They don't necessarily depend on each other, but they are complementary. And this reading, it's called Tales of the Sun. It's a reading that was created uh, resembling a little bit of the Leo theme season we are on, which is all about power. So the basis of the reading, it's, it's, it's to shed some light, which is the sun of uh, places of power, the power you hold, the creation um, in you to promote the changes you look for on the outer sphere in the different areas of life. So if you would like to know more info about that special or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Scorpio, I do feel like this month of um, August it's like you're being called to push yourself to go beyond what you uh, know your limits are in order to achieve something uh, more than what you have known so far and that most likely is not in um, at all in the place you want to be. So basically you're being kind of tested and challenged to go to the extra mile, right? To take lengths that you wouldn't necessarily or usually take out of your familiar uh, zone or comfort safety zones in order to have the breakthrough some of you want to have. Because I feel like some of you have uh, success, the promise of success, the promise of achievement, winning whatever you set your mind and your desire to win it's like you have that and it's there the prize but in order to get from there to the prize there's this obstacle in the middle that's frustrating and you, you keep bumping into the same obstacle you keep bumping into the same thing that uh, keeps you from getting the prize in your hand and being recognized by that but recognized by, by all that you have done recognized by all that you deserve and given the things you needed the things you deserve back so you're being or you have been so far this is for some of you denied what you most desire and this has created some suffering some mistrust in your own potential to create this has been creating some negative experiences of uh, nervous wreck consumption of very, very stressful forces that push you and push you and push you down. And you have to keep fighting to send them away and to keep trying to get what you want, to get what is yours. Because I feel as well that some of you feel like you have been robbed of your, some of your rights on something of what belongs to you. So some of you can have something, uh, situations, it could be within the workplace or intellectual, intellectual or creative uh, property ideas, actual property situations that indeed were taken from you and they were belong to you, either the acclamation, the recognition, the effort, the award, the whatever this is, you're still dealing with this or this is still happening or happening in August and is pushing you. Some of you feel like you're being pushed around and you're tired of it, but you might be lacking some perspective in what to do about it, where to find the solutions, where to clear this out, how to clear this out and move forward to a more balanced uh, state of feeling, of being and behaving because I also feel like some of you that it's not about what I have said, there are a relationship in particularly relationship imbalances where the give and take is extremely imbalanced, which means that either you are the giver and you feel uh, then again completely 
taken advantage of and robbed from uh, your values and your love, or you take and 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 you don't give because you're afraid of not having everything you need, um, you know, met. And you think that by taking and taking from others, that is never going to be put at risk. So what in whichever position you are, and usually when we have this imbalances, we are both, sometimes one, sometimes the other, but in whichever uh, side of the coin you are in, August brings the notion that there are very important changes that need to be made in order to liberate you from the toxic waste, from the burdens, from the stress, from the problems that are haunting you. Because aside of the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands, I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you have death, which is your energy. So... T change is inevitable is in energy here uh, because the six of wands is also here so and change is good whatever this is whatever you're being called to do to change to let go to reform to transform to get rid of it's good because it's going to bring success a better state of being a more confident state of being and at the same time a more, a more balanced state of being as well Within, within you and also manifested on the outer sphere in the justice and injustice of situations in the give and take in the fairness of situations in being generous but uh, not without boundaries and vice versa so there's a lot of things that are pushing some of you to understand again the concept of give and take and to um, address as you can those imbalances um, because I feel like some of you are involved with partnerships or if it's not business partnerships, it might be partnerships that friends or co-workers, there's some source of affiliation with another energy uh, that it's here in focus and that might be the trigger to make you understand all of this that I have been saying is that in order to move forward with a partnership, if you decide to do that, and in order to explore the world of possibilities of what both of you could get and achieve and create and do, you need to be fair with each other. And I think that for some Scorpios, there's bickering, there's attack, there's guilt, uh, pointing fingers, there's a lot of rash communication here. The Knight of Swords really doesn't matter, measure, I'm sorry, it really doesn't measure what, what it says. It attacks and it thinks later about the damage and the blood that has been shed. So be careful with this Knight of Swords, either by being you uh, expressing this energy or by being as well confronted with someone with this energy because it can get in the way of understanding clearly, again, what needs to be done to even the situation. I feel like some of you Scorpios are dealing with something where neither you or the other person are right or wrong both are right both are wrong both have things where you haven't been the best or the uh, most forthcoming version of your own selves and now you're being called to set aside the 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 little you know egoistic kind of energy of needing to be right or needing to attack each attack each other sit down in whichever form this relationship or association is is more about sitting down and breathing if uh, things are really that intense and discussing the situation and presenting options either by being together remaining together with whatever this energy is by finding solutions that appeal to each other or by leaving each other apart now the two of wands can be a relationship of um, of, of business so it can be either a business partner as I said or someone you have something in common with a common goal sometimes it could be a love relationship that it's again more than a love romantic relationship is also a relationship that it's filled with uh, vision for the future it's where couples are together to do more than just to be together romantically is also um, they are together to experience something in life that goes beyond their known territory 
Uh, sometimes simply the two of wands can be as well plans, just plans. Maybe there are there are changes of plans that you need to uh, adapt or um, undergo during this period of time that might be irritating you or frustrating you, or you just don't know how to go about uh, the change of plans since there are factors or new factors that might be as well. Uh, of importance here. I feel like some of you need to take your time. You need to push yourself to just to see things differently because this is the energy is to push yourself to the limit. So if you don't have a broader vision, if you don't see beyond your own thinking and ideas and beliefs, August can be a hard time because you're going to be tested there in, in, in the way that you just see the world as this unified version of your thoughts and beliefs and experiences but if you if you see it wider right or if you see it in a more wider form with all the multiverse kind of little realities we have in one i think that some of you will be able actually to have great ideas um given to you i feel like some of you have this genius thinking or genius inventive side of you that it's also in focus. Some of you have really bright, smart, creative, promissive, uh, promise, I'm sorry, of great promise, ideas, projects. The way you see uh, something is very particular. You have something about your creative energy that is very particular during this period of time, but that can be exactly um, what you most need to give life in order to be cleared from the drama of what this is the clear be cleared from the the stress some of you are heavily stressed and you have been for a long time and for scorpius that have not been taking care of themselves and the stress what i'm feeling is like the bubble might burst during um during the month of August and the volcano will uh, wake up and explode and have all that um, fire that has been building up leaking out of them. So leaking out of you in, in a way where you're not able to see the destructive maybe tendencies and, and, and energies that you are also displaying here. So some of you need to be careful with allowing such a degree of stress to build up in you because most likely you will lash out or be provoked to lash out in ways that can hinder the progress and the future. Some of you have your eyes in the future. Some of you are going to achieve, right, that amount of balance that you deserve finally. Some of you have a new contract you're signing. Some of you have a new job or a new relationship that is making you quite proud some of you it's like um as i said before finding someone that more than just a, the, an aspect of love here or, or friendship there's this very creative flavor about this partnership which means that more than anything else as well you come together to develop and build great great things so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.